Let's evaluate 7 twelfths minus 6 thirteenths. If we're going to add or subtract fractions, we need to have a common denominator. And we clearly do not have a common denominator here. 12 is a different number than 13. So let's figure one out, a common denominator. Well, the common denominator, the best one to pick is the least common multiple of 12 and 13. And since 12 and 13 don't share any factors, their least common multiple is really just going to be the product of 12 and 13. So it's going to be 12 times 13. It's going to be 12 times 13. And we'll figure out what that is in a second. But if we're multiplying the denominator over here by 13, we should also multiply the numerator by 13. So this should be 7 times 13. And over here, if we're multiplying the denominator, if we're multiplying 13 times 12, we should also multiply the numerator times 12. So 12 times 6. So notice, we haven't changed the value of either fraction. This is 7, 7 twelfths times 13 over 13. This is 6 thirteenths times 12 twelfths, or 1. And of course, we're going to subtract. Now let's evaluate these things. What is 7 times 13? 7 times 10 is 70. 7 times 3 is 21. 70 plus 21 is 91. And if that was a little bit too fast, feel free to pause and work it out by hand to verify that 7 times 13 is 91. 12 times 13. 12 times 12 is 144. Add another 12 to that, you're going to get 156. And from that, we are going to subtract. 12 times 6 is 72. 12 times 6 is 72. And 12 times 13, we already figured it out, is 156. Is 156. And so this is going to be something over 156. It's going to be 91, 91 minus 72, minus 72 over 156. If this was 92 minus 72, it would be 20. This is one less than that, so it's going to be 19. So it's going to equal 19 over 156. And I think we're done. There isn't there aren't any common factors between 19 and 156. 19 is in fact prime, so we're done. This is equal to 19 156.